welcome to the Illumination Season 4, uh, Round 2. Uh, here to entertain you as Pauline, Dave, and of course, your host, Bob! Oh, Mark calling us. Come in. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, yep, Bob, Dave, and Pauline. That's it. Intro. Bob done. and Dave. Bob and Dave, which is also uh, takes us straight to the matchup today. Sir, have we got any other sirs in the? I'm not sure we have. I don't think there is. No, I bet Ronnie Parker would have got one if he had carried on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sir David Jason versus Bob Mortimer. That's going to be a sad day. Dave, what is when he dies? Stay positive. <laughs> I don't know what that made me think that. But he's an absolute treasure, isn't he, David Jason? Sorry, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> You've taken us down that path now. in my head. Yeah, but that's the same with anyone. Oh, we did have another sir. Oh, Bruce, hey. Bruce Forsyth. Oh, oh, yeah. One of my faves. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sir, two sirs. They never, they must have known each other. They are best, I bet they were best friends. Who? Brucey and David. No, I don't think so. David, Jason, Bruce. They would have met. I bet they would have met. Oh, yeah, yeah. BAFTAs or yeah. pass across all the time. I mean. David Jason's not a golfer, is he? He done diving, didn't he? He used to do deep sea diving. Did he? Yeah. Did. Yeah, when he fell in, the, jumped in the water, he goes, plonker. Oh, <laughs> oh that's terrible. Um, yeah, for those that don't know, I suppose, uh, David Jason played Del Boy. Uh, before that, open all hours as Arkwright. Um and he was also he was in a lot of um, sitcoms back in the late sixties, early seventies. His first uh, program was a kids program called "Do Not Adjust Your Set," with with uh, a few of the Monty Python boys, oh, Michael okay. Palin, a, a female comedian called uh, Denise Coffey. I think Terry Jones and Eric Idle might have been in it as well. I'm not sure about Eric Idle, but they were definitely in it. Do not adjust your set. And uh, all the, like, the Monty Python ones just used to sort of watch it. That's sort of went off on a day. So he could have ended up in Monty Python. It's a weird connection, yeah, isn't it? weird. And then he was in another, uh, The Secret Life of Edgar Briggs, where he was like a secret agent. I'll tell you who's in that with him, Pauline. His second in command was, um, do you remember Coronation Street, um, Alan Bradley? Yeah. Uh, who got run over by yeah, the trap? Yeah, he, yeah. He, 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 he was Edgar Briggs, like, oh. mate. And there's another one, the sharp in Take a Breath. He'd done quite a few. Been around a lot. But then long time. Only Falls and Horses was the one oh. that really, really, it's really... It's still just just as funny today. The, I mean, it hasn't it's, got... It hasn't lost I feel, its... I, I feel like it's got... It's taken... Because social media and that has come along, memes... Of that, yeah. you know, have been uh, the the one I see the most is the Rodney in the phone box saying, oh, "Not yeah. everything he handles turns oh, yeah. to turns to, <laughs> turns to a disaster." Bang! <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. The coach just blew up. <laughs> <laughs> I got the head downstairs. Under but the door. you know, something over time they've lost it, haven't they? It's just not funny yeah. anymore. Well, this is there's a still lot of, just as funny, and there's a lot of photos that have come out as well of like behind the scenes that I'd never seen before as well. They're they're quite cool to see. Who's your favourite character? I mean, as a kid, I always liked Trigger, but as I've got older, I've... What's going on What in earth is going a, on? There's a lorry outside. Oh, it is. It's the bin men, Dave. The bin men are well, here. they're late, aren't they? Oh, that is late. Quarter one. And they're late in. has come about half nine. That's their Christmas box gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but as I've grown older, I've, Rodney, the early Rodney... Oh, no, I like later Rodney. Oh, no, I don't. No, I don't like later Rodney. Later Rodney's a bore. Early Rodney when he was thick. I love the one with Rodney where he's applying for his own job down the phone to Delta. That was on the other day, I was. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. <laughs> the one where he won the, he won the painting competition. Oh, no, that's, that's yeah. classic. Yeah, the groovy gone. gang. <laughs> <laughs> We all yeah. took a sip of tea then, and it went yeah. silent. People think we're... <laughs> yeah. That is a really good tea, Dave. That is a really I've got good to say. tea. It's a really good, good tea. tea. Good tea, Dave. How's your shingles, Dave? Oh, yeah, shingle update. Uh, shingle update. <laughs> I'm, I'm still on the up, I think. I'm still... But 
I put on a brave face. I know, you do. <laughs> Even though I can see the inner not well. Yeah. You can see it in his eyes, can't yeah, you? Yeah, I can see it in his eyes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So like as soon as you open the front, you can just see. It's not yeah, there wasn't there wasn't that jolly the end, entrance. The end, right. I wouldn't yeah. pass a fitness test, would I? No, not definitely moment, not. You're out no. for the season, son. Yeah, but I'm, I'm all right. I'm here. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, this tea's so heavy for my right hand side. <laughs> <laughs> he's struggling. He's struggling. Is Dave? Um, damn you, shingles! Damn you to hell! Hope I don't get it one day. Don't sound very nice at all. Well, you're already 70, aren't you? You'll, you'll soon get Bloody the old jab. 70. I've got years and years to go yet. There's no benefit to having shingles, is there? No. You don't even got time off work. No. Yeah, you should have Can got a part-time job and then took, taken yeah. the time off. Um, Bob Mortimer. One of Wifey's favourites, I, I must say. say she... I've only got to hear that name and Wifey. Just I think Bob Moore would beat everybody if Wifey was in it. Yeah. I don't think anyone she likes anyone better than him. Have you, uh, he, him on, Unless uh, it was oh, on. the bloke from Simply Red, even though it's not a comedian. But if he oh. was in he's it, not going to come up against him in the comedy. No, so that's now, what I'm meaning. But Funny if there looking. was something, <laughs> <laughs> if there was something a different category, I don't know what yeah. I mean. But they were against each other. Just her favourite, her thirty-two favourite people. <laughs> yeah, 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 they would be her top two, wouldn't they? I'll be, out, I'll be out of the first yeah. round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I lost to Ed Old Fitler. Two one. <laughs> no, she does love old me. Oh, she does. I've seen love her at the concert. Adolf. <laughs> Just we uh, the concert. going yeah. off, off pitch a bit with uh, Bob Mortimer. Go on, Dave. We've started watching that um, program with Vic Reeves, Jim Moore, with the Painting Birds. You seen that at all? Painting Birds. Painting Birds. Painting Birds. You like painting, don't you, and that? <laughs> yeah, like arts and action that. figures. There is actually a program of a man with curly hair that just paints. Bob. Yeah, Bob. Bob Ross. He's Ross. long dead. Oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> All right. No, he's. Uh, I didn't realise he's what a good artist he was. Um, Vic Reeves, whose real name is Jim Moore. Yeah. M O I R. He's got a program on Sky now with his wife, and it's just called Painting Birds with Jim and Nancy. And what he does, he, he gets one sort of bird. Last night it was the gannet. He did an owl, a golden eagle. Um, Are they on a, location? A curlew. Yeah, they go. The, when they've done the curlew, I think they went to Northumberland. And he, they go on the trip. And then uh, they they go there. They go looking around. They get an expert of the area looking for where the curlew is. Then they go back to his house in Kent and he's got like this sort of um, building in the garden he's like a studio and, out, out, out. and he paints that bird that, that shows about and he's like the curlew and he shows you the technique of where he does it he does water paintings he can do um, other stuff but he likes to do the birds water painting I mean I, I really want to make fun of you how boring that sounds no, but it, I would it, watch it, it. I, I would watch it, it. Yeah. Yeah. the thing is about <laughs> Vic Rees he can be a bit boring Vic. yeah yeah he can be a bit annoying yeah he tries to be funny but in this but in this, he isn't. He's straight, and um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's just a good program. They've done the the golden eagles in uh, one of the islands up at the top of Scotland, and they always have it has like a famous person there as well, Jules Holland. Well, he done it one animal uh, bird in Kent, Jules Holland, and they'll do a little picture together of, of like a, a, a portrait, you know, a scene, you know. Yeah, yeah it's just it's just a, a nice, easy, yeah. Well, not unlike the old fishing with... That's what I was getting around to. It's, yeah. it's not as funny as that. And, and, uh, his wife can annoy wifey a little bit. I, I think she's all right. But, um, yeah, it's just a good programme. It's just anyone out there who's like, interested in a bit of art. and It's, 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 it's good. You Paint. watch a lot of the... Um, they do them like knockout painting um, landscape painter of the year. Oh, landscape right? art of the year. Yeah, we quite like them, yeah. even though the... Uh, the actual experts, some of the things they come up with are crap. <laughs> and plus, they they if it's if there's something weird, they're they gonna love win. it. They're they love win. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If it doesn't look anything like what yeah. they're actually painting, I mean, it's nothing it isn't isn't. I mean, you get someone who does this absolutely fantastic picture, landscape picture. Oh no, I don't like. No, he's lost it. This one who's just done a couple of lines, you know. Oh, it's so mild, you know. <laughs> Well, they do it really small, like yeah. a, like a stamp size. Yeah. Yeah. It's just tiny. But there's uh, 
But there is about eight of them, isn't there? So you've got lots to look at, lots of different styles. I understand there's got to be different styles and that. But the Vic Reeves, like the Jim Moore one, is, is well worth a but look. You, do, you watch a lot of, um, what's the other one you watch? The Sewing Bee. Oh, does Wifey like? know that's back? Yeah, we watched, yeah. It, I watched that last night. And, oh, um, I it. And the Pottery one as well you do. Yeah, that's good as I've well. I've not seen the pottery one. I like the Great British Sewing Bee and uh, Bake Off. We pick, oh, one, off, we yeah. pick one each. I've got the Ginger Bird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's my one this time. But there's a really good bird on it. She's, um, I think she's from Iran. She wears the old uh, thing over her head and that, you know. Not just eyes, but. Yeah. But she's quite a pleasant enough woman. But, I mean, she, she's the star of this series so far. But I think my ginger bird could take her at the later stages. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for an update yeah. on the ginger bird. Yeah, good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's been a bit more, a bit more down, down, down. Uh, the mood. Down. Yeah, down, down yeah. deeper and down. I'm, I'm sure the last episode we talked about death quite early on, and so we're we're. Well, we we're did here. We're said keeping it like yeah, death. that's true. We're getting back to Bob Morton, man. He is a one-off, isn't he? Oh, he's great on Would I Lie to You. I don't think he, I don't think he's quite there, is he? I don't. Oh, I think he, he's very clever. Man. I don't think he has to be. That's the. I think that's the beauty of it. I think Bob Mortimer in the real world, if he if he just I bet he hasn't changed job. since he was fourteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still falling over. Oh, still. When, he, when he's on that, would I lie to you? It comes out with the most. Well, the story that oh, you've never it drives, in a million it years. It drives David Mitchell mad, yeah, doesn't he? and then it's true. <laughs> yeah. That, all the ones he makes up, how is his mind fought yeah. that weird on the spot? And he can answer the questions that they fire him like that. Yeah, Where yeah. you think, well, perhaps he is telling And then the it goes, yeah, how can, it, how can that yeah. come from that so easily? He's really clever. So I remember the one where he said... Um, Somebody like David Bowie showed him that you should crack an egg into your oh, bath. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> like, no, that's Chris Rea, wasn't it? Oh, was it Chris Rea? Oh, yeah, he that's right, an yeah. egg in his pocket. He carried this egg in his pocket for years or something. I don't remember. Yeah. yeah he, he does that apple thing as well, doesn't he? he yeah, he can break an apple, apple in half. half. The little talent he's got there. <laughs> yeah. I, I really like Bob Mormon. I feel like you... you you know, you get these people where they say you're different to on screen to off screen. I bet he's just exactly the same. Yeah. Do you remember him and Vic and Bob? Uh, Vic and Bob done the uh, Slade. Oh, that was the rip off. Yeah. That was funny, wasn't it? Yeah, that, I mean that that as a program would have been great. Like just them them living all together in the same house. <laughs> Don't you feel with yeah, that, but even they thought it was funny, didn't they? Yeah. The funny thing was when we watched that as kids, and it's it's Vic and Bob playing Slade, living in a house together. We just saw it as Bob, Vic and Bob playing funny, yeah, you did funny those, characters, you did those, and then we'd see yeah. Slade and be like, "Oh, that they do actually look like them." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it was really funny. They did a recent one as well with uh, Matt um, Lucas. No, Matt. Oh, what's Matt his Dylan. Name? Matt Bear. No, not Matt Berry. Who's the guy? The, the bloke I do an impression of. The uh, absolutely absurd. I don't know who that is. Matt. Oh God, he's gonna really annoy me. Um, but yeah, they did a program. That with... just sounded like the X Factor voice. To me. Oh, maybe that's what it is. That's what you're doing, isn't it? Elimination. Yeah, it's just the X. Oh, oh is oh, that it's the X Factor man? No, it's not. Yeah, I was talking. About... I didn't realise you was doing an impression of actually someone. Yeah, the he does absolute radio, doesn't he? That's where I get that oh. from. Matthew No, don't know. Cool, how did you do that? <laughs> 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 no, it's gonna bug me. But they did a recent sitcom where it was like that. They was living in a house and it was really weird and, and it just didn't catch on at all. I'll tell you something that fouled with Fig and Bob was um they've done a remake of um Randall and the Hopkirk. Oh, that's the right. Yeah, with the ghost. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that didn't, like this because they they're not good enough actors to carry it off. They're right doing this little sketch now and again, but consistent to act an hour a plum program. I liked that. Um, she oh, yeah. stars. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, good. That's yeah. Good. <laughs> you know what I was doing? The, the duck from the bar. <laughs> But you knew exactly what I meant. Yeah, but that's it's the... mental, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> He's a baby. He's a baby. Oh, like Vivar, Vivaru, <laughs> Uvavu, <laughs> Ori Kaka. I remember that. everyone used to watch that. Yeah, yeah. It was just mad when it. And he always had fancied the woman as well. 
And I remember he had to he he held up a, a towel for the for the woman, the sexy woman that they were always sat on the end. And he put up a towel and Vic was doing something behind the towel and she had to guess what it was. And when he put the towel up to for, it had like a cat shit on it. <laughs> and he was getting it closer and closer. And then she was like that noise they're like the, the, what's, what is he doing behind there is he um, is he grating cheese or something and they put it down and he's like um, he's got a, a vole on a wheel and it's going round he's like oh I'm spinning the vole like, like, what it was mad it was it? nutty program <laughs> why do you think a bob was mad wasn't it spin 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 the wheel of justice <laughs> I never watched much of that well, the big night out. Yeah, I saw it live at the that. Apollo Hammersmith. Oh, did you? Yeah, That's I did. a Raycon there. Kelly Clarkson. Not Vic and Bob, though, is Well, it? were they watching Vic and Bob as well? Yeah, they were. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they did a lot of characters on that, weren't they? The, the guy with the stick. What's on the end of your stick, Vic? Yeah. Question oh, no, for Pauline. No, because you probably haven't watched No, it. you put your finger on it. But you're right saying now. that the Apollo just made me think of Britain's Got Talent. Did you just watch it? Did you see the winner? Um, I, I, the high-vis man won the whole thing. Yeah, I've, I've watched That's comedy. The man that took off one more time and he took off his high-vis yeah. each I time watched, he um, won. Yeah, I watched his first audition this morning, oh, that actually, surprised me on the toilet. I was on the toilet and I watched it on YouTube on my phone. Just because I could see his picture everywhere. Yeah. I thought, because oh, I don't watch, yeah. yeah. Like so I thought, oh, I'll just watch, I'll watch his first audition just to see what it was. And I mean, it, 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 it was quite funny. He does get everyone it, laughing, and he does get everyone yeah. up. But I, I can't see how that. Win. I can't see how you can do that again and again. And I again. know he does a different thing each time. He still does the one more time at the end of the act, but on the winning night, he had a big massive balloon, and then he got in the balloon, and he was poking his head out the balloon. And I've seen that done before. Yeah, yeah. he got Simon to come and burst it, and he had a high vis, and then one more. I can't stand that. It Simon was just okay. I can't even. I can't even look at the bloke. Who's Simon Cowell? Yeah. He, actually, I listened to his podcast. He said the same about you, Dave. <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> can't even look at that, Dave. Oh, that Dave for a bit. I can't, can't you? <laughs> Shingles. That drew Grow drew up. Drew bit. Drew bit. Drew bit. Yeah. Oh, you made yourself laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one else is, but made you laugh. <laughs> He's like that bloke who made it up. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't really. Who did he beat in the final? Who was in the um, final? Yeah, yeah, that little boy, singer. Oh, okay. The girl singer, the little boy uh, magician. So there's a load of kids. There was, no, there's loads of people. But what, in the final? Kids. Yeah. Oh, this is not just two people in the final. No, there's about eight. What? Because there's one each. Two people go through each night. Sounds like a quarter final to me. Eight. Two Absolutely. people go through each night of the week. Right. And then on a Sunday night, it was all, oh, you don't watch it. I'm not, people that are out there that did watch it. So the it. final is eight people come on, one after the other. There's no people, buzzers yeah. or anything. They're, no, they just, just the final, so who votes? The public. Oh, okay. And the public voted for him, the high vis man. It, I mean, it did make me laugh, but I just didn't. Well, every time. But every time he did a performance. He yeah, he went through, through the first How did he go then? down with the audience and the panels? Did yeah, they no, say, no, oh, no. yeah, it's great, yeah. yeah. found him hilarious. Simon didn't on the first one. He went... So is he going to be a star now? What's he, no, what's he... you probably never hear from him again. What's he going to do? He's going to do? be doing yeah. the... No... He'll be doing the... He won the show for 50 grand, and then he'll be doing the Royal Variety Show to the King. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, did, I, did find, <laughs> I did find it entertaining. I thought, oh, hey, he's, he's got everyone up. And yeah, I mean, yeah, it. I did. I, I did laugh, but that's a different sort of comedy, isn't it? It's a slapsticky. Yeah. Well, he's, he's not even. Different he's comedy. not even English, is he? He's, no, he's it? from Norway. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Nil pois. Norway's got talent in the UK. Yeah. But as soon as we're talking comedy, and that was a comedy act, but you didn't see yeah. it. Yeah. So. No, I, do. I mean, I, I did watch the audition, but um, maybe I'll watch the later. Too late to get in, isn't it? What, for Britain's Got Talent? No. Oh, you know, in our, in our, yeah, too oh, late, too he's late. Missed it, isn't he? Yeah, he's just missed it. We'll, his... stick, we'll throw Peter Kay out and put him in instead. <laughs> <laughs> I bet um, anybody who goes to work in a high vis now, everyone's like, oh, that's they, were showing, yeah, they were showing all people all around the country, you know, and they're, like, they're all dancing. I mean, when he first came on, obviously, I knew he was the high vis man, but when he first came on the stage and I was watching it, I was thinking, okay, how many. 
high vis he got on it. And I was so, quite surprised at yeah, how and many. Then he, on the last one, he pulled his trousers off and he had high vis trousers. And yeah, yeah. Shriek me laughter. Did, did you? <laughs> I did actually, yeah, I did yeah. laugh. I but did laugh. His, he had a, he, you thought it was over, and then he did, yeah. and it was gold, and then they, you thought it was over, and he did it, and it yeah, was a pink one. Yeah, and then he, yeah. I mean, it was, I, I, it was entertaining. I watched the whole thing. It's I a mean, different sort of comedy, but, completely, isn't it? Yeah, but I don't know what, where you can go from there, because the world, the, the the whole of the UK has seen your act now. Yeah. So what do you? Where do you go now? And on the. The one before, he was um, getting Amanda, there were judges, to say hello, my, their name, and then he was playing it back on a recording and then acting to it. So How old is that. he? Is he young or old? Oh, or... I don't know, about late 30s, I'd oh, say. Well, quite young. And then when that... What's the matter? Well, you lost your fags. <laughs> no, I was going to get my phone. I was going to show you a picture of him, but I, I ain't got my phone. I'll see you a picture of him. Oh, yeah, with the big hair. Vigo. Yeah, I didn't really look. I just, I just whizzed through. I just saw Britain's Got Talent winner and... I mean, I'm, go. I'm glad it weren't a singer. It's always a singer, isn't yeah. it? It's always somebody who can belt out somebody else's song. Do an original. Like us. Yeah. Make your own. If you had to go, if if you had to go on Britain's That's Got him. Talent, Dave, what would you do on stage? Did he get booed at the end? No. Oh, I heard he got booed. Yeah, I, I saw That's why I asked you. I had other things. Got booed. Oh, I didn't even get booed. Because he was on Lorraine. I saw you too busy laughing. You didn't need the booze. On Lorraine, he said, uh, "He said I, don't, I didn't actually want to win." He said because the, all the rest of the yeah. kids and that, he was like, "If I win, it's like I'm going to upset these kids." Like he was on the radio and he said he'd booked a um, a little hall to have his own party on the night of the final. <laughs> <laughs> you know, watching it and have people around family and all that, not thinking for one second he would be there himself. Well, you never know, yeah. Hey, right? you gotta be in it to win it. Yes. And he was in it, and he did win it. Yes. That's how they killed off that program, though, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's, it's, and it's all of these things, like the um, like the voice and X Factor. Oh, and... did you see? Oh no, you didn't don't watch it. Ant fell over. Yeah, oh, yeah, I did, did see, you that. see that. I did see that. Yeah. Oh, quite was he drunk well. again like he was last time when he was driving the car? <laughs> was he? Well, I don't know, might have been. Ooh. Yeah, when he fell over, his, his uh, hip flask fell out. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you couldn't go on there and do um, do like proper stand-up, like somebody like Frankie Boyle or something like that, who go on there. You've got to be PC, haven't you? You've got to yeah. be family-friendly. Oh, there was a woman comedian doing jokes. Yeah, I just felt, I think, I find the whole thing quite I see you cringy, saying, a little bit cringy. You know these uh, people until they're getting their teeth done? Oh, yeah. The latest one is, uh, we know you know the old salvage hunters and Drew with his cap. Oh, yeah. He's had his teeth done. He's got like Jimmy White, uh, Jimmy White, Jimmy um, Carl Teeth. It's ridiculous. <laughs> they can be too perfect, can't they? Yeah, they can I mean. Get, they just, just look like a block of white. Yeah, it just, I mean. I haven't whitened a little bit, but blimey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't bother. I mean, teeth, you've aged, your teeth are going to age. That's it. That's, Some get of over them it. are so, so white, though, aren't they? Like, oh, yeah. that Bobby uh, Firmino, the Liverpool player. Oh, God. Bobby yeah. Firmino, I know that name. Yeah. Yeah, this footballer plays for Liverpool. Just, yeah. Is there a well, song just about him? Yeah, probably. He looks like a gum, gum shield. Bobby yeah, Firmino, yeah. number nine, pass the ball and he'll score every time. Season your pass the ball to Bobby and he score. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that song. I don't know. <laughs> Crazy, man. Where have you heard that song? Watching football. Yeah, but you're not a Liverpool fan. No, but I did. Sometimes I have to watch all just games. Oh, OK. You got BT Sport? I don't know. It's like the one Lewis pays for. I think. <laughs> I <laughs> no. We have to go around there to the Champions League. Oh, that's what I was going to say, yeah. Champions League? Saturday. As in... No, I mean next year, because we're in it now, aren't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm paying £28 a month. No, but Lewis will. Lewis, Lewis will. will. <laughs> Lewis pays... I'm sure it's BT Sport. I know it pays a month for something, Sport. It's got to be beating. Yeah, it's got to be that. Oh, that's opportunity knocking. <laughs> opportunity <laughs> knocks. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, grab a question. Oh, Let's do this. Oh, I mean, I've done one. No, yet. no, yeah. What? what? Oh. what? Oh. <laughs> pick, pick, pick the bowl of justice. Ronnie Barker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, look, that's a nice big juicy one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> juicy, juicy one. Oh, it's like a book. Hit me, Dave. Oh. <laughs> it's a very interesting question. Oh, here we go. Oh. Here we go. Must, must be one of mine. I think it's mine, actually. <laughs> you can answer this one first, Paul. Oh, I don't like oh, that. Oh, hello. Do you True. Think, <laughs> do you think children born this year will have better or worse lives than their parents? Oh, oh, that is a that good question. That is a good question. I think, well, they won't ever know the playing out. What's what? happened? I mean, we the <laughs> they won't <laughs> ever know about the playing out, the coming in. When well, their parents did. Yeah. Oh, I, I think there were two different yeah. worlds, isn't there? There's, I'm thinking of when I'm with... Oh, two yeah. of their parents sort of like born around about the millennium. I think worse because I would have hated social media at... A child. Yeah, but you wouldn't have known it. You, you love it now, so why you would you have hated it then? You wouldn't have known any better. Because when I was a teenager, it's when you were clubbing and all that. Do you want the pictures of you everywhere coming out of a nightclub? Yeah, but that's that's what it's gone full circle now. Where we used to go out and get absolutely blottoed and and drink. Are you and glad there were cameras? Yeah, but if there were, you would live up to that. Like when you see people going out now. They they're going out because they know they're going to take a selfie with that drink or that in that club or that. that well, I don't want to have to think about it. But that's I'm why, yeah. Now because I know I'll yeah. get that drink and I will take that selfie. And do, sort yeah. of planned. No, that's, that's what I mean. Near yeah. Is good. And you know, I'll I'll get with you know I'll get with this girl or that bloke because I can't they wear look that good. again because they saw me wear that. Yeah, exactly, no, exactly. I think it's worse. But then everyone looks the same. I think they've got internet, so if they're doing their homework. And go go to the library. Yeah, but are they less? Are they less educated because they can just Google it? That's not much thing of being a better life, is no, it? No, I know. I'm you don't go to the little... library to do your own work. No, I mean, but it was when girl. you're a kid doing your life, your homework. Yes. I don't think that. They, I don't think that you they said about a kid's life. Bob never yeah. done any homework. No, I didn't. <laughs> I got detention all the time. Never went to one ever. Just left. Just went to went on. It, it just. Uh, well, I don't think anybody. Born now or whenever after social media understands freedom, yeah. like the whole freedom, f- freedom. proper proper freedom. Yeah. You know when you go out and you do do stupid things, and you go out and you end up in the canal because your mate pushed you in the canal and think. I mean, it, it just we we didn't have the best trainers, the best clothes. We did, you know, girls didn't wear makeup. I don't think until they were a lot well, older. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, mum just—I remember just being up the field playing with all my mates, and just you just dear mum, Dana, out yeah, the yeah, back yeah. bedroom window yeah. to the field. <laughs> yeah, well, they all yeah, came yeah. in for dinner. You're right. <laughs> Forty like, kids. <laughs> and, and you did hundred miles an hour to get yeah. straight back out. And you're either in or you're out. <laughs> I used to get you're either in or you're out. You're not. Yeah. Don't yeah. keep. Your... Yeah, I used to get that a lot. It's saying the it's saying the uh, spinning door. I yeah. This ain't a hotel, but leave your key at reception before you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that whole free of like the it getting a little bit dark and looking forward to the summer break from school oh, because so it was lighter later and yeah. it, everyone seemed a bit more chilled out as well. Yeah. I used to enjoy it when, um, when there was a power cut as well because nine times out of ten, mum would go out the front door and say to our neighbour, you got a power cut? Yeah, you got a power cut. Oh, God, how's your, how's your brother doing with his... Oh, yeah. And then they'd start talking, and then their kids would the come kids out. Our coming, kids would come yeah. out. And then we'd just be sort of playing with nothing. Like, there'd be no telly. Yeah. And as soon as the power come back on, everyone I went indoors. Yeah. And I just used to like them moments, because they were few and far between, but it did happen. During COVID, did you go out and clap? No, not once. Oh, my God, that was a huge thing down our road. Down our road, everybody, and I'm not joking, I didn't think they would. Well, Lewis didn't, but (laughs) I did. All of us, and it was quite, the first time we did it, I thought, well, I thought, shall I go out, shall I not? And I could hear just a little ripple start, and I thought, I will then. So I opened my door, went out, and then just everyone come out. And I got, you know when you get goose pimples? People pans, bang, 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 cheering, the whole road. And then I got that's how I got chatting to people that I'm not chatting to. That was really nice. I mean, me and Lucy were still outside an hour and a half later when everyone had gone in. We were just <laughs> chatting. Because we hadn't seen each other for a week. Oh, mind you, I was living here when I saw Well, it. nobody clapped. If I'd, if I'd have gone outside, David had gone, don't be stupid, boy, get back in here. <laughs> I was, when I spoke to my dad on the phone next, I said, Dad, did you clap? He went, no. I said, did anyone down your road clap? He went, 
Well, no. I said, well, you wouldn't have heard them anyway. I said, you're slightly <laughs> dead. So the next Thursday, he went out ready, thinking, oh, better go and clap. Not one person, he went. <laughs> went out there ready to clap. He said, not one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my road every Thursday that fell. I'm sure that we were watching telly a few times and we were watching it going, turn it up, I can't hear it. It's, going, it's like, what is that noise? We pause you go, oh, they're doing the clap thing. Oh, good, okay. <laughs> Just wait for it to die well, down. Going, Lewis, Lewis and I kept saying, Lewis, we, we've got to show appreciation. Come out and clap. Oh, clap here then. <laughs> 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 again, again, the generational thing. I, a lot of stuff is done so that you can show people you've done it as well. Like if you if you help somebody out, you've got to show people that you helped them out. Like on yeah. social media, like younger people now, they won't just do something. So say like they've done something for charity and took it long to the Yeah, hospital. yeah. They have photos. Of they'd have to be. Something. They'd have to be some. Um, because people are craving it. Even people that are are our our generation. Some people crave it. That's the, those are the people that put up on social media like, oh, just another one of them days. Yeah. And everyone, oh, what's up, babe? What's the matter, babe? And all the comments are like, oh, I'll DM you. Oh, it's, it's just not one. It's just not my day today. Oh, why does it always happen to me? Because you're a fucking idiot. That's why. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? They just they put it out there just so that they could get that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Everyone's in it together. Like, oh, go over yourself. So do you think they have a better life? No, I... I, I don't I, think they would. As I was... Not as, the same as what... Mind you, Dave's saying their parents, their parents, like Dave saying, didn't have the life that we had. Their parents are... Yeah, well, that's... Yeah, so, uh, there, were, there were two different worlds, is before social media and after I mean, social media. Uh, uh, I just uh, don't... Someone brought up now, say, say Lewis, for instance, he's, what, tw- mid-20s? Yeah. He'd hate it when I was a teenager because... There was no live football on telly ever, apart from the cup final. I saw it was just one game a year that was live. There was no boxing live. He loves watch, his sport. You had to watch it the night after when you knew the result yeah. anyway. Um, there was free channels to watch. That was it. And some people didn't even have BBC2. They couldn't have all had to be had to wait until you get a newer telly to pick it up. So if he went back from what he's got now to, to then, then he'd... What have you bought out of his brains? He's well, mad. do you know what? But that's just regarding that. I think I think that my generation had the best. Well, I did because you had like World War One and all that. Then you had the depression. How old was you at then? No. Then you had World <laughs> War Two. Then you had all the um, uh, rationing. But when I came to be sort of like. When I came to when be I came back <laughs> ten or eleven, that that sort of age, it was mid sixties, and I never had it so good. And the estate I was brought up on, there was never any trouble. I had about three or four different sets of mates. We used to play football, cricket, yeah. any game. Leave your front door open. You, yeah, we used to make up games. It was just perfect where I was brought up. But now, then pedo I, Steve moved in. Uh, no, I just, I just don't know. <laughs> But, but it's, it's what you used to, isn't it? Yeah. But, I, but you couldn't just let... It's a worry to let children just go out and now. N- we used not, to go. I mean, we used, me and my mate went to Tottenham v Aston Villa in, in 1965. We were 10 and 11. Yeah. On our own, going to Tottenham on the bus, you know. Yeah. Going to football, going to Millwall, we were nine. That's little, like little Emily's age, yeah. you know, their granddaughter. I but, mean, even even walking to primary... I remember walking to primary school, knocking for my mate on the way and going to... Primary school. Oh, yeah, I saw but, school. But yeah, Lewis did, never took you to school. She did make it when you were in the infants, but not, you know. Oh, yeah, he, Lewis was always walked to school with his mates. Yeah. Oh, so like, he, not generation. Little, yeah, you see, we're all getting twos, didn't you, where they have high vis on and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. What's that all yeah. about? One more time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> just crazy. Yeah. I But there is a set. I, I went to a... Um, 16th, 19th, 16th birthday party. Um, my sister in law's daughter, and um, oh, we went around there, and obviously, she had all of her mates there. And I mean, it was it was so bizarre because me and this guy Dave, um, who was there as well, who I met at a wedding, um, who we knew, um, we were we it was like a social experiment. We were sit- standing by the back door, just looking out, all these kids. 
And all the girls were sort of like dolled up, all wearing exactly the same dress, just different colour. Yeah. So they're all like Power Rangers. And then, um, and but with um, sandals and socks on. Yeah, Vic was saying about with that. With socks pulled right up as well. Yes, yeah, the fashion, isn't it? Uh, is it? Uh, uh, and then all the boys look like they just come from playing football. Hoodies, jogging bottoms, like, and and they've all got that little bag, that little yeah, bag that, that they've got, um, and we was just looking out there, and there were some of them were sort of talking, but they all had their phone in their hands, and I remember boredom and awkwardness now doesn't exist. I feel like because if you're bored or anxious about something, you should pick up your, phone. your phone. Yeah. Whereas before, I remember being at barbecues and stuff where you're like. Yeah, I'm gonna go talk to her. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How do you know, um, Dan? Then is it? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. And I, I, we went to school with my sister, and that is a okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> nice to see you. You know, you couldn't just get your phone out and just sit yeah. next to him. You know, it, it, it's. I mean, I don't, I don't know how... But you do get your phone out of everything. Even just like, if you go to doctor's waiting room, you sit down, phone out. So there's no... And everyone... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, imagine phone. going... You see families out for a meal, and they're yeah. all on their phones. Yeah. I, I mean, you go to uh, things like uh, A&E. I remember when I did jury service, and we went into the room where you have to wait prior to sort of be called, and you could be waiting there days. And they had one telly, and they were playing um, Wimbledon was on. And they were just playing that, and none of us had phones. Imagine now, if you had a phone, you'd be fine. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're sitting there just... Well, your phones have been around a long time there, because I remember going to... um, I had a jury service in 1999, and people had mobile phones in, because they had them in. Well, I remember being a kid and going round to Sue and Steve's when they lived in New Ash Green, and Steve come home from work. Oh, yeah. And he had... He pulled out, he went, here, look at this, to us kids. Yeah, like batteries in a suitcase. So a suitcase... (laughs) And it was a big, great, big brick. And a it great was big tin it, with string yeah, on it. And he was saying about, oh, it's a phone. And I was like, oh, what? Yeah, it's now, a phone. Now it's gone. You know what? I've seen these videos on online of like people, uh, young kids being handed something, like a floppy disk yeah. or something like that. And, and they're like, what? And a, a controller with a wire in it or a remote with a wire in it. And they're like, how would you get far? What? Like the, yeah. it just, they just can't comprehend what, what it is. Like yeah. what? What? How? That was the thing, and you look at them now. You think, oh, what phone you got? What phone? It doesn't matter because it's going to go out of fashion yeah. at some point. That's one thing change. I've never cared about: what phone I've got, oh, what anyone else has less. got. Like younger yeah. people do. Yeah, that was a good question, Dave. Of course, it's kept us rabbit in ages. Yeah, yeah. But we never actually answered it, so no. Uh, do you think? I think it's better. Before. Well, from her, from my point of view, no, they won't have a better life. But to them. Looking back at what you didn't have phones, you didn't have this, you didn't have that. My life is better now, obviously. yeah. But they would have hated but it back when I was a kid, yeah. It before, I don't know what to do, yeah. I'd have liked, I'd love to have been around in the 60s, I'd love to have seen the 60s, like when you see all stuff on telly and all that, yeah. Thinking, oh, yeah, it's I mean, so good. But even watching, going back to our draw, watching A Touch of Frost, the first couple of episodes, and they're walking down, and there's like a big long road, and there's two cars. Parts on it, and you're like, I don't think I've ever seen a yeah. road that like that. But even when I, I was a kid and playing Kirby, there were there's only the yeah. odd car. Like everybody, yeah. families yeah. had one car, the family car. There was and you got out room. the, and you, yeah, you recognised that when they drive past, you go, "Oh, hi, Jane." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember I was um, down at my mate Chris's house. It's about it's about two hundred yards from where we lived in we were in a flat, and uh, they had a big house and. Um, it, we was playing games and that, and it sort of got, time got carried away. It's winter and it was dark, and it got to about half past nine. And I thought, flipping hell, it's half past nine. I couldn't be supposed to be probably home by eight o'clock. Mum's having a fit back up. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll, I'll better go. So, so, my mate Chris said, he said, um, oh, he says, you'll be all right walking home. I'll, I'll get my dad to walk you home. His dad was a sergeant, a police sergeant. Oh, hello, okay. So, uh, I said, no, it's all right. Said, no, I'll get him to walk you home. It's dark out there. Anyway, he went in the living room and he's just still sitting there and he's just come home with his sergeant's uniform <laughs> jacket on. And he said, uh, Dad, can you um, walk Dave home? It's a bit dark out there. So he goes, oh, don't worry about it. He says, just whistle, you'll be all right. So I like to whistle up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just whistle, yeah. whistle. Yeah. 
it's quite so scary. It could be fucking ass. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. That's why he's whistling all the time. No? <laughs> yeah, it's safe. It's a safety yeah. measure. <laughs> it's like a safety blanket. <laughs> I mean, primary school days were good, weren't they? I mean, when I was a kid, primary school, secondary school, not. Oh, I good. love secondary school. But primary school was it? I mean, it's fantastic. Primary school, yeah, it was just. I loved all of pure, school. pure fun. I mean, you, you was. Oh, in... we got a wasp. No. Oh. oh. Yeah. We got a wasp in the studio. Oh. There's a wasp in the studio. I'm killing it with diary. <laughs> There's a wasp in the. <laughs> There's a wasp in the in studio. The... Well, oh, my God, I do. I can't see it with that. She's off. She's yes. off. Oh, it's, it's, this, me. it's me. He's off. That. This is the most exciting part of the, the podcast. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's angry. He's angry now. Yeah. Open the door then. Go. Oh, go. Let him in. <laughs> this is weird. Oh, this is terrible oh. podcasting. But... Turn it off. Turn it off. I can't off. I can't Turn see you with that. What? Open the door. We don't want to be. <laughs> for the window. <laughs> Where is it? It's on your head. Yeah. Open the window. Where is it? I don't know. I can't see it. Oh, okay. I can't you, get you... the window open. That's right. Give that wasp some headphones. Oh, yeah. here you go. Get him, Dave. He stopped. Yeah, I'll die don't, him. Don't miss because then he'd be angry. Die. <laughs> We squashed him with diary. <laughs> I can't wait to listen to this back. <laughs> You're a big girl, Pauline. Oh, I don't like what I love a bumblebee, but I don't do wasps. I was nearly on bumblebee. But I don't do wasps. <laughs> I was nearly on your head, Bob. <laughs> oh, I don't know why she was hiding behind me. Oh, a wasp in the studio. Hey, is the wasp there? Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Oh. God. Oh. <laughs> oh, the adrenaline. You're not going to play that. You're not going to leave that. Uh, we don't need it. I'm not going to yeah, edit that. Oh, best, best, best episode ever, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to put that bit as a sound clip on Facebook. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. It's proper dive bombing at me at one point. Yeah, yeah. Now, I do love a bumblebee. Bumblebee is lovely, but oh. not a wasp. Proper quiz, Robert. This. Oh, uh, okay. Not on ring now. The quiz. <sighs> right, what do you want? Seconds or which I'm one? I'm knackered from the adrenaline. Seconds, 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 seconds. 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 What, is that like after dinner? Seconds? Yeah, seconds. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Second breakfast. <laughs> Pauline. Oh, Heads, please. Tails. Oh, never fails. Right, first or second, off. Robert? First. Right. Now, this this, this one, I'm going to... If you get it wrong, I'm going to pass it over and pass it back until someone gets it. We don't it, need right? pen and paper, then. No. So. Right. First? Second? Uh, yeah, first. First, oh. first, first, first. Robert, the most common surname in the UK is Smith. What is the second most common? Uh, Jones. Correct. Oh! Smith and Jones. Yeah. Pauline. Yes. Manchester United have won the Premier League the most times, 13 times. Oh. Which club is second on the list? The second most premiership wins. Liverpool. Robert. Arsenal. Pauline. I'm trying to read it for a <laughs> um, Man City. Correct. Oh, Seven oh, wins they got now. Seven. Chelsea five, Arsenal three. Name the three clubs who have won it once. Um, Leicester. Yep. Um, Blackburn. Yep. And he doesn't get a point for this. This is no. no. Leicester, Blackburn, and I can't. I can't. I'll give you a, a subtle clue. Go on. When you <laughs> Oh, Liverpool. Yeah. Bobby Famino. <laughs> Robert. Yes. As of June 2023, The weekend is the artist with the most monthly visitors on Spotify. Who is second on the list? Um, Ed Sheeran. No, he's third. Oh, oh Pauline. Is he really Ed third? Yeah. Oh, he's... Beyonce. Nowhere to be seen. Oh. Uh, Rihanna? 
Fifth on the list. Oh. Pauline. Taylor Swift. Correct! Oh, that, that was going to be my next guess. <laughs> Get in. Bad Bunny six. I like them, don't you? Whoa, Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. Bam, <laughs> right, who's next? Uh, it's you, yeah. Pauline. Yeah. Sweden won the 2023 Eurovision Song Contest. Which country came second? Now, you only watched it a couple of weeks oh ago. Oh, my God, it was the other day. Yeah, well, who was it? I can picture the artist. I just don't know what country. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, I don't have a clue. No, passing over the Robert. Yeah, I don't have a clue. Uh, Belgium? No. Ireland? No, they didn't even qualify. Oh. <laughs> um, Germany? No. Who went first on this one? Me. Pauline. Right, I'm going to tell you now. It's something with land at the end. Go on, Pauline. Switzerland? No. Iceland? No. Oh. Oland? No. <laughs> <laughs> so a land on the... I can picture the guy. Oh, what, what the hell has got land on? Switzerland, Iceland. I bet everyone's shouting at this guy, you fit cow. Yeah, they are. So, 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 I, I can't <laughs> what, You watched it. What's got land on right. the land? Fire at will, Robert. Oh, uh, okay. Um, New Zealand. <gasps> Poland? No. Oh. Uh, Switzerland? No. I said that. Oh. Um, I'll give you a clue. Greenland. They come second. <laughs> in the song it was song the guy thing. with the green thing. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was such a going? stupid song. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to have to tell you then. Yeah, right. Deutschland. Finland. Oh, oh, I should have got that. Especially you. you Who's next? It. Robert. Yes. Did you go first? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah. Maidstone in Kent. I know it well. This is a bit local, this one. Sorry about this. In the 2011 census, had the biggest population of all the settlements in Kent. That means towns and cities in Kent. Right. Maystone has the biggest population. Oh. Which town has the second biggest population? Ooh. In Kent. In the whole of Kent. Yeah. Um, Gillingham. Correct! Yes! Oh, how did you know that? <laughs> oh, Blimey, I'm surprised you said that. Uh, not much in it either. Well, Maystone, Gilliam. Third Darford, fourth Chatham, five Ashford. I just thought Canterbury, of, which is a city, I thought Canterbury was down about 10th, I think. I just thought of football teams. What about Cholton? Oh, no, that's London. That's London, yeah. South East Sorry, seven. sorry. sorry. Uh, Pauline, yeah. the Beatles Ooh. lead the way with 20 Billboard Hot 100 number one hits. That means the US chart. Yep. Which artist is second... Just one behind with 19 number ones. Michael Jackson. No. Elvis. No, he's third with 18. Oh. oh. Whitney. No. Elton John. No. Oh. Is it going to be someone? It's going to be it'd someone. Be, it'd definitely yeah. be someone. Taylor <laughs> 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 Swift. No, not Taylor Swift. Um, Rolling Stones. No. Queen. Oh. No, I was going to fire at will, female singer. Uh, Adele. No. Madonna. No. Uh, uh, Beyonce. Celine Dion. No. A wit- oh, no, you said Whitney. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ma- Mariah Carey. Correct. Yay. Yeah. Well, that's a hard-earned point, wasn't it? I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Robert. Yes. Is it me? Yep. Yeah. yeah I think so. The most popular pub name in the UK, as everyone knows, is The Red Lion. Yeah. <laughs> What is the second most popular pub name? The Royal Oak? No, third. Oh. Oh, Coach and Horses. No. Um, the Queen's Arms. No. The Blue Anchor. No. The King's Arms. No. Queen Victoria. No. Um, the Crown. Correct! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> hey! Fourth is the White Hart. I was brought up in the Crown. <laughs> Pauline. Yeah. According to a Guardian newspaper poll, Freedom 90... Is the best ever George Michael song. Oh, really? What song came second in this poll? <gasps> it's just the George Michael. Just George Michael. George Michael stroke wham. But I think this one is George Michael. Um, Careless Whisper. No. Oh. Um, I can't think of any. Um... God, I do don't know it's Christmas. <laughs> uh, no, Christmas. Like yeah, that Christmas. one. No, yeah. Different corner. No. Oh, that's my favourite. 
They would never have Oh, played. don't let the sun go down. <laughs> no. Oh. Um, I'm your man. No. Um, anyone? S- anyone? Sound? No. No, it's um, anyone? The... Oh, it's going to be so obvious, isn't it? Well, not that obvious, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> you need the point, Pauline? Um, faith. No. Oh. Any more for any more for I'll tell you? I, I can't What's think of What's the one with any. the models in it? Hey, just did Yeah, the one with the burning leather jacket in there. No. Oh. What's the one with the speakers in the chair? Love fall. No, love something. Love soul. Love loves love. to... No. I'll tell you what, See, wife, I'm not thinking wear ones because like, you said you um, didn't think it was wear. Oh, that's favorite. a good one. Shall I tell you? Yeah. I won't be your father. Jesus to a child. Oh, Jesus to a child. We never have got that. Jesus. Robert. Yes. Is it William, William Roach oh, has appeared in over 4,700 episodes of Coronation Street. It's, it's that one. Is it not me? Well, no. Perhaps it's not. No, it's oh, not. Maybe you, maybe got not. The, you went first. You oh, went we were wrong. Oh, <laughs> William <laughs> Roach. Get that right. oh, order, order. <laughs> William Roach has appeared in over 4,700 episodes of Coronation Street. It's Ken Barlow, who's quite an interesting character. Who is second on the list regarding amounts of episodes? Do you want the actor or the or, Either or. Mike Baldwin. Nope. Oh. Oh. Rita Fairclough. She's third. Um. Oh, where will we watch it now? She's just agreed to marry Ted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Come on. Bet? No. Bet the bar- barmaid? Bet the barmaid. Bet the barmaid. Yeah. Um, no, no, it's not Bob the Builder. Betty, either. But yeah, the hot, hot. <laughs> Audrey. No. Um, oh. I, I think not, I know. It's not, um, it is. Go no, on. don't it's, say it. I'm not sure I know his name. Oh. Is it? Is it Rosie? It's Rosie. No, it's not Rosie. Oh. Gal Platt. Gal Platt. Yes. Oh. Paulie, you need this one to equalise. Oh. So oh. last question. Oh. According. To a taste atlas poll, the egg sandwich <laughs> is the most popular sandwich in the UK. What is the second most popular sandwich in the UK? How's the egg cooked? Oh, egg sandwich. Boiled, I love egg sandwich. Boiled with mayo. Um, I'm going to say chicken salad. Incorrect. It's got to be the bacon sandwich, isn't it? Sure. No. What? I'm shocked. Cheese, please, Louise. No. <laughs> BLT. BLT! Hey! It's got to be in the Final somewhere. score, Robert 5, Pauline 3. Ah! Yeah. You have been defeated. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. The quiz. Yes. Well. Push you back in the lead, Robert. Absolutely. That's such a neat scoreboard she's got there. <laughs> <laughs> it's because my arms don't bend the right way, so I can't get an angle. Yeah, she's trying to write on the ball. She's writing on her own nose. 17-10. Seven, <laughs> seven, <ten>, <laughs> no, 11-10. Oh, OK. Uh, oh, no. That was a good... Oh, oh look at she made the, that was like no. it. When you, that was like it when you arrived this morning. <laughs> Uh, this episode has been brought to you by Wasp. This episode's been <laughs> rubbish, hasn't it? Yeah, it's it's been so bizarre. <laughs> I, I can't wait to listen to this back. <laughs> Sorry, listeners, but you get what you get. You know, we're not being paid for this. We're not supposed it's to be professionals. Wasp, Could Bob Mortimer have played Dill Boy? No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> it's a strange concept, isn't it? <laughs> With his cap on his His cap would be made of what's it, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Who could you imagine... Could do Del Boy. And I know no one could I wonder do who kid. I wonder who else but auditioned for it. Is there anyone you think, oh, I bet they would have been. David there. Tennant. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> joking. <laughs> do you know that um the bloke um Jim Broadbent who played Roy Slater? Oh yeah. Only, oh, only yeah. appeared in about three episodes. And yeah. yet he's and such he a mark, yeah. such a mark, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. You think he's been in it loads of times, yeah. but he hadn't. I love the one where he's, he's, ever, he's yeah. laying on the sofa and Raquel's ex-husband, and he's, she's brought him back. You know, him and Dale and all that have been out on a class meeting or whatever, yeah. reunion, and then she's laying, he's laying on the sofa and Raquel comes out and sees, why is my ex-husband on the sofa? Have you not seen that one? Because you're looking at me confused. I'm waiting for you to get to the point. Like, I, I, oh, I no, get you're it. saying that's an episode of Light with Slater. 
later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, yeah, I didn't know that. I would have said he was in at least like sort of 10. Yeah, yeah. Something. I always remember the one with. Um, Could have said you in the, 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 the Could he have been Dell? I bet he probably could. He's he's in everything, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, we binged all the Harry Potters recently. He does all the Mike Lee films, films doesn't he? Yeah. And he was in what's all the little the little people? Borrowers. The borrowers, yeah. Yeah, yeah good actor he is. Um and Hot Fuzz he was in as well. Oof. Oof. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um Right, I suppose we should um Bloody uh, hell, it's fifty five minutes. I know we've we done nothing yet. We had forty minutes of the wasp. <laughs> Diary. <laughs> late. Oh, it's Wednesday the twelfth of March, and I am late for work. Yeah. Of course you are. Welcome way. back, Dave. <laughs> Meet Jackie at work. Have a couple of drinks in her work local, which is called the Two Chairman. Then go back to my place for dinner. Watch Benny Hill show. Hey. Have argument with me, mum. <laughs> Then go out to the butts at the elephant, put Jackie on a 53 and get a bus home. We <laughs> do it out of here. Then he'll show argue with my mum and then sling her on the bus like a couple of bites. I wonder what the argument. So, Dave, you leave me so frustrated because I, ne- I want details. I don't know what the argument was about. What about Benny Hill, was it? Tomorrow. I go to the pictures and I put what film it is. <gasps> oh, oh, right. Oh, my well, God. Well, Edge of your seat stuff. <laughs> we'll see you later. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. We've got to do the vote. We've got to vote. This is very difficult for me. Um, I'm going to go Bob Mortimer because I f- I, he does make me laugh. Whenever I see him, he makes me laugh. Del Boy's never made you laugh? Yes. Del Boy, are you having some sort of laugh? You having a bubble? <laughs> you having a laugh? No, but Del Boy... Is it, it's one. Oh, I can't believe I don't, that. I just, I'm, that, that's my that's vote. That's wrong. Like, I just find Bob. Uh, David Jason is funnier than David Jason. David Jason is brilliant, don't get me wrong. But funny, funny in himself. Funny? I just, uh, Bob Mortimer is a funny If it's person. a girl, they're going to call it Sigourney after an actress. <laughs> but if it's a boy, they're going to call it Roddy after Dave. <laughs> Well, I'm oh. David Jason, 100%. Oh, it's down to you then, Dave. 100%, there's no competition. I like both of these, and they're so different. I understand what you're saying, David Jason, but then John Cleese, you know, is, is what you're going on. And... Yeah, oh, yeah, I know. Well, yeah, that's I'm... what I said when I said, but Jim Carrey, is he funny? Because obviously he's redoing it, and you've had to go at me. No, 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 I'm not, no, I'm not saying the character. The people with the shoulders, you know. Yeah. David Jason, yeah. I, I mean, look how he does that Dale boy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't, I mean, does he like that? Don't get, a stroke. It, don't get me wrong; it's, a, it's an iconic character, and I love it, and, and it's no, brilliant. I could, I could watch any episode at any point, and it's funny. Don't you know well, don't that? Get old, uh, but it, is in porridge as well. Yeah, yeah. Like what's Bob yeah. Mortimer actually but, done to but, make you laugh? Apart from <laughs> whenever I see him, on, he makes me laugh. <laughs> whenever I see him, he makes me laugh. He's just one of them people. He's just, he agree. just is. But oh. then you're entitled to your opinion, Robert. Even though it's wrong, apparently. Robert. Robert. Oh, now I'm in trouble. It's down to you, Bob Dave. Bob was even good on Taskmaster, wasn't he? No, He's Dave, I can see what way you're going. I'm going to be so gutted. If it was Del Boy versus Bob Walmart, I'd go for Del Boy. But it's not. Why it's David me? Jason. It's Don't David tell Jason. Us. Don't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh, Dave, think about it seriously. I like them both. I'm going to have a draw and they both go through. <laughs> no, it's impossible. <laughs> I got a one coin. Time yeah. I did actually spin a coin because I just loved yeah. them both the same yeah. and you allowed you, it. You, you do it however you want to do it. I mean, sometimes it is impossible. You just do it the way you've got to do Should it. Should I flick up a coin? But the thing is, wait. No, if just you, in case it goes the wrong well, way. Well, if, if you can't choose... Both of these can go through. No, flip a coin. But the next two we pull out are out. <gasps> <laughs> oh, you either flip a coin or you do what he just said. Or we lose Frank Skinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Flip a coin. You love them both as well. I do. I can't say. I mean, I just think they well, both bring so much to the so party. So what is what? So what's what? What are you doing? Let's get head, this right. Heads, Jason. Tells more than <gasps> Well, let me flip the coin. I'll flip the coin. You can't flip it. Oh, you, you, you can't you know, flip it. I, I can because I, I'll make it. What did we say? Head David. 
Head Jason, Towns Mortimer. Oh, no. Okay, you ready? Ready? <laughs> and it's flicked. Cool. Head Jason, Towns Mortimer. Tails. Oh, Tails. Oh, I'll see not, you now. On, you're disappointed. If it had oh, been the other way, you you are, been, I would have been disappointed the other way. Honestly, I, they're, you so, are let your heart they're so different, but they're so both good. And your heart sunk. My heart would have sunk if it was the other it way. Because that's, that's what I'm asking. Oh, so, so, no, I'll stand, it's done. It's done. I'll stand by. Pauline, you can rip up no, David I Jason. <laughs> I will not. <laughs> David Jason is out. It's a tragedy. You tragedy. I've got a pair of aces <laughs> and another pair of aces. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Dave Jason out, Bob Moore through to the next round. Um, yeah, uh, it happens. Absence I mean, like the Forest Gump all over again. Yeah, the Forest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> Forest Gump gate. Look. <clears throat> what? Commitments is definitely a better film than Forest Gump. Oh my God. Absolutely absurd. <laughs> uh, right, let's do the draw. Dave, uh, no, you put Paul on Pauline. And I'm going to do it this time. Oh, you're holding uh, it, though. No, no, I'll give it to you, Dave. I'll let you pick one out. I'm joking, all right? Calm down. Which one's the parent here? <laughs> someone you like. This is someone you like. Oh, okay. So, Bob Moore is through. Um, David Jason is out. And the next episode will be... Rowan Atkinson. Mmm. Lee Mack. Oh! oh! Atkinson versus Mack. That's the next matchup. Lee Atkinson and Rowan Mack. <laughs> um, uh, say a word, Pauline. Uh, I can't think of one. <laughs> Wasp. I can't Wasp. think of one. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, what's his name? Of all the words in all the world. <laughs> no. Ooh, Betty. <laughs> mm, a little bit of trouble. Mm, a little bit of trouble. <laughs> 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 a cat in a whoopsie. A cat in a whoopsie in a bear. <laughs> <laughs>